Well, hello everyone. It is Tuesday, June the 18th, 2024. I am Doug. It's time once again to play some Wordle. Uh, user, uh, oh goodness gracious, look at all those letters and numbers. You know what? I'm just going to call you a new user, new viewer. New viewer. <laughs> First time viewer here. I love the videos. Uh, I love the word learn because we are always learning on this channel. Keep up the good content. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, and I tell you what, learn is an amazing opener. Uh, all five letters are all star letters, if you will. So let's give it a go and try learn here. And there we go. We get an E and an R both out of position. That is a very good start for us. Um, let's see. What could we do here? How about, um, oh, I know. Well, well, you know what? Let's move the letters around and let's take three more quality letters and put them in. How about ruse? R-O-U-S-E. Could today's puzzle just be a clever ruse? Is that the answer to today's puzzle? No, it's not. But look at that. We've got an O now locked in position in the second spot. The R and the E remain uh, out of position. Now, I suppose the way I look at this is knowing that the R has to be in the third or the fifth spot. I kind of like the idea here. And I know the E is not going to be in the first spot. So uh, what looks attractive to me is O-R-E blank. So blank, O-R-E, blank. Uh, so let's take a look at this and explore this a bit. Um, what would work here is a first letter. And then I'm, I'm bored. <laughs> bored. Is it Could it be bored? Could I, <laughs> do I not entertain you? Is it possible? The, the answer today's, whoop, uh, hold on, let's let's type correctly. There we go. Could it be possible that the answer to today's puzzle is hopefully not the uh, sense of our audience here, uh, but we'll go with it. Is the answer to today's puzzle the word bored? No, it's not. I really, I had a funny feeling, but I was wrong. Well, here's the good news. Uh, we know exactly where the R is located through process of elimination. So we know what we're looking at here. Is oh well, I was gonna say boxer, but we know the B is not in here. Um, we know the O, the E, and the R are now in the their correct positions. So uh, we're down on our fourth guess. So we do have to take this seriously here. Um, so the question becomes: What I look, I look at these again, right to left. What would be an interesting um, candidate for the third letter? I see, I see a couple things here. I see cower, I see cover, I see hover, I see homer. Oh, wow, here's, here's where now I'm nervous. Oh, this is making me nervous seeing how many different possibilities exist. All right, so let's, let's think about this here. Um, the W is a possibility for the word uh, cower or tower. Uh, C and T are possibilities for the same reasons. Um, although I think C is has more combinations than T. Um, let's see. V is also a possibility. Hover, cover. Um, hmm. Wow. That's a bit of a problem here. So I think what we want to figure out here is between the, I think the key letters that are noteworthy here are W, C, V, and T. Um, T would tower. So if we can get at least three of those looked at, and I think, I think the conservative play, I know some people don't like this, is to do, um, an evaluation. Although I'll tell you what, well, uh, cover would be interesting. It would it would actually be playing it to the spirit of the game. Um, it, taking C and V off the table if it's not cover would be I think quite helpful here. Uh, it would significantly I think reduce the possibilities uh, because W is the only other really. Um, 
possible third. So it, it almost looks like you go with cover, and if you don't get anything, then you go to power. Although mower would be a possibility too. Oof. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, oh boy, as you can see here, my lament is realizing how many possibilities we actually have, a disconcerting amount. The brave thing to do would be to try cover, which I still think could, statistically, this is where we get to math. Ooh, and I'm a math guy. Uh, not as much as like rise to the equation. I'm not like crazy, like good at math, but I feel like cover straddles the line between just doing the uh, full eval in something that I think gets us a lot of possibilities. So I've talked myself into cover for the fourth guess. Maybe it's the it could be the answer, and that'd be very fortunate. But let's see what we get. Is the answer to today's puzzle the word cover? Yes, it is. Oh wow, lucky day because boy, I gotta tell you, we we looked through like what seven or eight different possibilities there. That was quite scary. So a very lucky guess. And again, my rationale with cover was the C and the V had crossover with a number of the other possibilities. And so it felt like, uh, you know, playing it without doing a full eval, that was the that was the way to go. So there you go. We got, we got lucky, uh, and I'll always take it. So uh, there it is. Tomorrow, uh, we are going to be starting with the word waste. And I hope you won't uh, see that it is a waste of time to join me. <laughs> <laughs> as we play some more Wordle.